So for the session, do you want to be guided or you want to do your own thing? We talk about it after. Uh, what, what do you think is normally better? Um, if it's just questions, then, uh, then yeah, just sort of tell me as as we go along. For some people, it's harder to follow while I give them information, but for some people, it's not. So I mean, it comes down to you. End of the day. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll try to. You can talk as much as you want, and I'll just uh, try to focus uh, on that and the game as much as I can. All right, so you definitely start bot side this game. And then when you finish your wolves, see if uh, mid or top are gankable. If not, then you do your red, and then determine if just full clear or go top or mid from there. Because you can still look for level 3 gank mid. Your mid has ignite. Oriana has no cleanse, and you just have kill pressure early. So if you can stack, or stack your CC in level 3 gank after wolves, uh, go green always. Green always, okay. And then go... Well, not always, but like for this game, and then you can go boar crush this game. Probably, I think is best. Okay, and with Lilia, I would um, I'd want to ward here. Doesn't really matter. Okay. You don't need to ward. You can just look at your lanes. She's probably gonna start top anyways if she's smart. Okay, so she just should... hold my uh, ward. Yeah, she should path bot. You should path top. Because like you want to avoid fighting bot side this game. And if Moon doesn't die early game, then he'll probably not die very often at all this game. I mean, you guys are like four range champions, but we'll see. I don't just hold my word, don't even word. Okay. Like, there's very low chance that Lily invades you on blue. I ward my Raptors, if anything. Just go ward your Raptors. Okay. Yeah. In case she tries to take your entire red side. And ping for help on your red or your blue, sorry. So while I do your gromp, again, make sure to see if you're a mid bot or gankable, because you want to make sure to uh, get a full blue side clear leash, or sorry, bl full blue side into gank if there is a chance for one. Okay. If not, just clear back towards top and see how that's going as well. So like when your QCD is down, when you would look, yeah. I'd smite this because my spells are down. And you have your spells up for your blue, or your wolves, I mean. Alright, when you use your spells on wolves, just see if you can gank mid or bot. It may be mid. Is that uh, what I'm thinking? Definitely not bot. Yeah, since Lily is pathing top, I think it's better to match. I just go to my red here. Since we see our division, and the wave's already crashed. Just, um, like skip raptors? Yeah, skip raptors, go to your red. Lily will be low on her blue side, and you should have probably top. If not, just gank mid and look for the play afterwards. It's just this camp as fast as possible. Use your E as well for attack speed, yeah. And pull towards your raptors, because you want to be close to the enemy mid laner. No, go to your raptors. Oh, raptors, yeah. Like the, the raptor entrance. So if you see a gank mid, you take it. If not, you just go to this blue and fighter with your smite up. Drink your pot as well. If you see a gank, go. If not, fighter out blue. I think I could. Oh, uh, she hits her Q. I mean, she's probably going to burn flash, yeah. Alright, just, just ping on the way blue. Make sure your team is like, aware you're invading. I think you could have blast him, but that's fine. Be better to go mm -hmm. from behind her, but it's too late. She's on Gromp right now. Seal it. Good. Oh, that guy's dead. On HP. Ooh. Fine. Right. I mean, if he doesn't channel, nice going. That was definitely a kill, though. Uh, we'll talk about it later. Just focus on the game for now. Grab crab, and then I'm not really sure what components of Borky bomb is champion. Is it just recurve longsword, or is uh, it... I think it's a uh, pickaxe pick dagger if we're gonna afford it on. Uh, yeah, just do raptors. That dies on auto. That that would have died. It's okay. Okay. So now look these bot sides up. And your bot size up as well. We can take your raptors level one. 
Would you smile? Or no. You can just pull in Q. You don't have to like auto these. They're all dead. You don't have to. But I okay. reset or Krogs, Krogs, Krogs. Mundo has no flash with his wave state. I know you like yep. don't have much damage, but like his wave is in a bad spot. He's in the early game. This I would smite. Wait, this you smite? Yeah, because you sync up faster with your team mill being in lane. They can gank top here. Just key loss hit. I'm gonna auto these. Oh, they got pulled. Okay. You, just gank this. Just gank this. You can. He's gonna try to PQ poke and he'll die. If you hit this one, he's dead. Well, he has his uh, passive though. I think he's still dead. Oh my god, that champ's broken. Alright, nice. Now hard push this wave. Hard push. He has to crash next one. Alright, now you reset after this. Wave is dead. Now go recurve one, start again. Uh, I'd say yeah, and that should be good. Actually, buy yeah, that's good. That's good. Leave base. Make sure you out of base as well, so you can get there faster. Uh, okay, okay. My bad. That's fine. So make sure uh, if there's no gank op possibility mid or bot, you just farm. If there is, then look at mid lane. Mid lanes are getting chunked pretty hard. Maybe. Should like, I just go. Oh uh, yeah, you hover mid here for sure. You don't farm. Your all your gold spent. You're level five. She might look to break her passive. Drop a pink ward in the brush in front of you. Yeah, that's good. You can sweep in this area as well. She might try to break the, the egg. Oh, yeah, she's trying. She has no mana. Oh, she flushed. Thing. Oh, my God. I don't know what that is. That's like, I just take the wave. That's pretty unlucky you did that. No, don't, don't even go for it. It's not worth She has ult and everything. Okay. And your make does nothing. Oh my god, this guy This guy is... Just push, you have to push with the wave. Look at the wave. I think defend her as well. If she hits a spell, this is win. Oh god, she died at least. I'm pretty sure you can smite a creep for six. I guess you kill her anyway. Just push, 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 push. And then here I go my crab? You the dragon. Four. Dragon. Okay, Walk okay. Crab, yeah, yeah. Level six, and this dragon should never be yours this game. But since your bot's actually doing well, and your enemy jungler should be on red though. Just use your smite instantly. You have two smite charges. It's risky, but it should be the right play. Okay. Okay, farm your blue side now. So Bork, you need what, 875 plus 550 plus 525. You needs to like, you won't have it this back, but it's okay. So you're gonna full clear your blue side and reset. So while you clear your top side, the uh, the bot side camps will be refreshing and respawning as well. Maybe so after this. Would you go another pinking? Yeah. Since Rift Herald's up, like that pink ward advantage will definitely give you a lot of a better chance of securing the Rift or knowing you're being, uh, you know, on vision. Grab your red only. When you say you had a base, you mean on the wall, right? Yeah, yeah. So you get there faster. Okay. The CD's pretty low. <laughs> Looks like Oriana warded your Raptor, so you just want to blast gun and start the Rift and use your, uh, your pink Raptor you're done red, yeah. But make sure you can't pan your camera towards mid while your spells are down so you can see what's happening mid of the lane as well. Alright. Pink ward this instantly. Lilia should be topside right now. She might even take a crab. Oh, she's on it. She's literally right there. Yeah, you can just hit dragon. Or, oh, they're mid. Their top's moving first. Walk mid. Walk mid. Or you might have to ult away, actually. I think you're fine. You got two ults. You can play for fight, but they're three. Their alts are down. They play for steel. You can. If your teammates go in at all, I have to ult out here. Oh, oh, well played. That's pretty good. I think you did a lot there. I should. Be yeah, I think they can win. At least two kills. Yeah, it's good. Nice. Okay. Okay. Huge. <coughs> 
All right, got a lot of tenacity stacks off that too. All right, just run back to your Raptors. Now you do Raptors for Aiden, do the exact same play. Sorry, like I have it's go blue? Is that no, something? Raptors. Dude, look how close you're level eight. Raptors, okay. okay. Just, what's the most important was... on the map right now? There's only yeah, one, yeah. right? And you're, you're mm -hmm. fresh Bork, you're fed as fuck. Yep. <clears throat> So just make the exact same play, level eight, start the dry, start the rift. Maybe, maybe sweep here though is one thing, you just swept that brush. Uh, it's fine, too late now. They might fight you again, but I should pull towards top if you can. Yeah, because or you can move again. Your smite's 900, you should have this, this should be done, gone. All right, let's go to Krogs now. I was gonna try that as well. I don't know why this guy's even here. All right, free flush. Krugs, you said? Yeah, Krugs and the Crab, most likely. Press tab. We need information on items. Our shield build on Samira. Your top's doing pretty well. You have three minutes on plates. If you can kill enemy top winner, smite this after... Uh, Yeah, you can probably get tower top. You can kill him top after your... Yeah, get those two. It's a lot of gold. All right, let's ping on the way. You should... Yeah, Bork, you do one shot him. Okay, now get the tower. Don't drop rift till it's at like 2k. You can just draw uh, the rift right now, doesn't matter. Tim will get the tower later, but it's fine. Yeah, get the, get the crab and reset. I wouldn't help him push that? No, you, you don't need help. How, okay. He doesn't need help to push. What is Lily gonna do? Because she knows you're in the area. Okay. Um. Yeah. In my mind, it's like uh, duplicating the XP or whatever. I mean, you get level nine off the crab fun. anyway, so like, why leech the XP reset? Sure. Yeah. Actually, that makes a lot of sense. Now you buy. I mean, is it divine or? Uh, I usually go sunder, but. Yeah, divine sunder. Oh get, yeah. Get that. I mean, isn't Shin? I don't know. Yeah. Fuck by now. I can do that. No, 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 no. Merch tries. Merch tries. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. You, you lost oh. base. It's fine. Oh, okay, whatever, whatever. Yeah, my bad. I mean, you do have tenacity runes, but, like, the extra MS against their champs and, like, the extra tenacity, like, is a lot better. So here, what's the dragon timer? It's up, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah so you skip your camps and just start dragging. Or look for a okay. game bot or mid if you have to. If you can't, <laughs> just start. Hit the hit the scryer in front of you. Yep. If there's no ward, just start it. She has no flash as well, so if she walks that way, she might die. Uh, if you had your tier 2 boots here, she's dead 100%. I think she dies anyways if you, I don't know, you count. Oh, um, yeah. So there, if you had tier 2 boots, you just go on her and she'd die. If you hit your W. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Our entire purpose here is getting dragon. That's all that matters, really. Okay. And exact same thing. Go get your blue. If there's no play on the map, then... Looks like Ezreal's dying. Can you help him? Or is he dead? I think he's dead. I just leave, leave. You can't fight that. You can maybe defend the tower. That's about it after getting your blue. Because you have to push the wave first. Grab, secure your blue and then go to defend the bot wave. Go get, grab okay. your blue. You're on a timer. You, you can't just wait there. Like, they're going to push okay, okay. bot and then come, they're all going to come to your blue. If they if they want to. Okay. I no, thought um, um they might be walking up right away. Um, but then so it's a 3v2 like... if Sinner just walks past the tower. Your goal is just like you're on defensive stance. When your ADC dies, it's 3v2 bot side, map state, and you need to defend. You don't have to look to, to fight at all. Just grab your gromp. So you can go traverse towards top. We see the enemy, Lilia. I mean, Samira and Leona can come mid, but I think Samira resets. Just go to your Raptors and just farm that as well. So once you have like Wits and Divine, Merge Treads will be pretty unstoppable this game, if Samira dies. I keep farming, there's really nothing for you to do right now. They already left bot side. She's gonna actually look for a gank top after Krugs. Okay, here I would go um, Crab into bot instead of Krugs, but... 
Crabs is bought. What do you mean? Yeah, crab? yeah. Like I, I would just skip Krugs and go all the way bought. That, that's just no, dumb. It's not worth. With so okay. much trajectory, just secure Krugs. You have a lot of XP as well. You can gank this guy now. There's no reason to force yourself to play weak side. Like, your bot lane's getting shit on. Reset here. Like, why would you force yourself to go bot out of base? Because that crap, if they want, they'll just gangbang you at it with their bot lane. Have you pressed tab once this game? Uh, I will, I will. What are Samir's items? Do you know Samir's items? Look at her items. Look at your eyes. Yeah, items. yeah, sure, yeah. Why put yourself in that situation? When the Krugs are guaranteed, then top side is dying to every gank. You don't have to. And now if they play too offensive, you can maybe look for some sneak kills under your tower because they're going to dive right now. Yeah, so they're still top side. So this is like always better play defensive on the weak side than, you know, offensive. Okay. You can blast cone over and drop a pink word, honestly. But I mean, it yep. is 4v3. Yeah, I don't know if you can actually go in the pink. Maybe you can kill this guy before his team is here. Level up your ult too. Oh, you didn't level it. Uh, yeah, I definitely could have played that way better. Yeah, if you level up your ult, maybe it should have died, but it's okay. Okay. Any of you is getting a lot mid lane, so it's good your guys are winning bot side 3v4, but you shouldn't ever die for shutdown. That was, were you worth a shutdown? Press Z? I don't think you were. Uh, Apparently not. Okay, that's good. I don't know how. So now you go to uh, Raptors. You go to Raptors. Yeah, and then you see if you the map stay if you can go drift or not. Okay. I had to wait 30 gold here. Just get your Kindle gem. It's worth waiting for. Okay, okay. Let's go to the start away. Yeah, Oriana's gonna be here, so yeah, you should sweep as well. Oh, Lily is here too. Okay, start the rift. No, don't, don't shoot. There's nothing there. Just chase. Oh, don't chase. Alright, alright. Like, you have to understand, you don't need to kill Lily to get the rift herald, do you? Uh, no, because if she comes, I'll kill her then. Exactly, so let her come to you if she wants to. If not, I'll just get the free neutral. Go invade her right side here. This is like the first time I'm actually going to invade. You're one yeah. camp off of level 12 as well. Maybe check Raptors if they're up. I doubt they are up. We can do a small one if you have to. That's fine. Dive bot here. Just ping, spam ping bot. Spam ping bot. You can drop the rift as well while your team dives. Oh, Ori's into you. Ori's into you. She's dead. She's no flush. Or maybe it's back up. It's pretty close. Oh, it is back up. Well. She's dead anyways. Flush. Nice. Alright, dive bot. Look what's happening, bot camera. I guess they all died. And I was good, right? Yeah. Just clear your blue side again. What's your rep of timer? Uh, 30. Yeah, so you, you, have a, you have a timer, just clear. Sorry, I, uh, I missed that. It was go top. Reset after your walls, yeah. Okay. Might as well. I mean, you have the gold you need for uh, Divine plus Null Mantle, but it's just better to get the walls as well. 
Reset now, get your red. I think Timo might take it, but I yeah, buy the MR portion. Oh wait, it's 700, I forgot I have all components controlling. And then this, you said? Yeah, that's good. Pink ward as well, auto boost. Oh, this game's pretty much over, got every dragon and then every lane. Out ahead from our yeah. early game. Just go red. You could have also defended the top, or the bot wave, I mean. Okay. But now you just go top after this, and then maybe ping Baron. Probably couldn't have snided that, but... It's okay. go. You should have pushed top before, because your teammates are going to have to, like, you're going to have to walk to the Baron, right? There's a timer on that. So if you just push okay. top lane, then you'll sync with them. If you don't come in, you just push top lane anyways, right? So... That makes sense. Take her gromp as well, go push top afterwards. Like, of the map states, right? Like, no one on your team's gonna sight lane this game, except Teemo. Your team's mostly just three manning mid. Just grab the camps, go push top. Their okay. camps, your camps, whatever. Just always find, like, these resources as a jungler, if you get waves, are huge. And especially in lower elos, no one's gonna do that. So, you'll have a massive advantage on their jungler and, like, soul laners as well. Because right now you're level 15 off this wave, I believe. You'll be the highest level in the game. That's because you're catching sight lanes and we're actually really close to 15. Go wolves, grab their wolves. Okay, okay. Yeah, the concept of um, nobody on my team having side, I've never thought about. Yeah, because, like, Navy is scared to side lane, Ezreal scared to side lane. You can fight the Mundo here, but their team's coming. I think you shit on him, actually. Yeah, I should just one shot him. My Diego's kind of weak. It's fine, play slow. Alright, this is a big win. This is a win. Their team's bought as well. Oh, I'm so fucking bad. Dude, you gotta reset here, you're good. Ooh. Oh my god. Holy fuck. Is... <laughs> yeah, champ is... uh, We... Holy shit, you're clean? I think you kill everyone here. Oh my yeah. god. Champ's broken. Oh, am I the best or what? That was well played. God bless. And that's why Borch is so valuable on your champion. As long as you're... Like, Mundo's gonna walk into your team he has to. Same with Leona. So yeah. you don't ever have to like dive their back line because you have like four inch champions, right? So it's really easy for you to get maximum efficiency from buying Bork early. Yeah. All right, read these things over. What's the IGN of your account? Can you type it in chat if you don't mind? Uh, yeah, I'll just send you my IP. Alright, so what did you do differently in this game that you don't typically do in your games? Um, uh, I'm not really too sure, honestly. Um, it felt pretty usual. I think I would have, um, I think I would have helped bot maybe a little bit more. Um, but yeah, I, I would have passed off this game. Um, I definitely wouldn't have done the uh, mid cover um, when my bot camps were up, like. Uh, in there where Lilia came in and we killed them both. Alright, so my question to that is why do you need to help bot when they're not dying or getting dove under tower? Like why help something that doesn't need help? They're, they died early game a couple times, right? They got double killed, whatever, but after that they didn't really actually die at all. So uh, as long as they're not chain into getting tower dove like the entire game, why do you have to help bot lane? You don't, okay. right? Like, you just got yeah, so no. much more resources top. You got the Rift Herald. You got so many kills on the Mundo, etc. So, like, you don't ever have to help a weak side lane and put yourself in that situation unless it's, like, very helpable from your position, right? That's, yep. like, the most important thing. Obviously, there's a lot of times you can press tab. You can use your camera a lot better. There's other things you have to work on yourself. I can't do that for you. But you press tab, like, twice this game. That's because I asked you. You need to be pressing tab constantly. 
Like, you need to get okay. as much information as you can get. Is it, like, if it's six minutes and I press tab, Mundo has a D shield, that means he has infinite gold, but he's very squishy and very easy to kill, right? Yeah. Whereas if I press tab and I see he has, he has tabbies, that changes my idea, like, trying to help. Let's say you're playing with, I don't know, like, Renekton top with uh, Diego and your and your enemy window is full HP. He'll be a lot harder to die full 100 to zero, right? So... Okay, so you you're looking like for um, whether they've backed or not, and then also uh, that is just like how example, effective yes. they're going to be. Summoner okay. spells, their item, how much gold they've spent, etc. Like all these things. Tab is the most important thing. You should be press spamming tab more than your camera, honestly, if anything. Like, say if they have Zhonya's, they okay. can cancel your ult or you know, dodge it, whatever. Either way, first play of the game. Uh, we have Pryo Top. You never pan your camera top, by the way. You should be seeing that Mundo's HP is very low because it's actually very dabbable. Uh, the wave won't crash. Timo should be able to crash this wave before the uh, this wave comes in, right? Because wave is symmetrical. Yep. So again, this is another thing I'm gonna talk about later in this session where you completely forgot and botched this. But I mean, this is overall a pretty good game. Like I can tell you're good at your champion, so you can easily hit masters if you just apply the things I'm about to tell you. Okay. Okay. Is there a gank mid lane? Is there a gank? Uh, I there? I think so. Yeah. If my oh, um, I, if my navy is playing, yeah. I don't think so. I think at the very best so? you get her flash. I don't think you can guys can hundred to zero her on this health bar. So obviously the better play is to go top side. And to do that, you need to blast going over. And you should know, when you clear four camps, Lilia should be clearing her fifth. She should be on blue or, you know, uh, this right now. The easiest okay. way for you to get to top <laughs> side here is to blast going over. There's a chance maybe like enemy mid had prior early and word your raptors and they might see you. So you take this route instead, right? Yeah. But in general, the easiest way for you to get to, mid to get to this play is to go through here and it just blast going over and then win this brush and fight her on Gromp. Because this will lead on to the invade here. This guy's about to ward this. Probably he's, he's afraid of getting dove, and he knows it's coming, right? So okay. as long as you, like, I don't know why we're forcing this play mid. This is like, you have to depend so much on your mid laner for this play. And even then, I don't know if you have enough damage to kill her. So I don't know if this you do it with enemy uh, Gromp or top side ASAP, but knowing, like, look at your top laner. He's absolutely mm -hmm. destroying the enemy Mundo, and it's understandable. It's like Mundo early game to Teemo, and this guy's Ignite, right? So. Yeah. Be here sooner, okay. blast going over this, because this was really close. Obviously, yeah. there's more terrain granted from taking this as well, and you go through <laughs> fog. This, the way you're going, there's no fog, and luckily, you, you just uh, outsmited her, or still, I don't know, you had smited, right? Yeah, yeah. It was like uh, 30 HP or something, smited it. But you get, like, wide so much better go this way than this way. Longer route, and then no fog. Uh, like, yeah, I almost... Uh... Uh, if I were to ever invade here, I would never hit the blast gun, just because, like, I'm not uh, really aware of it. Yeah, but, either way, yeah, that makes uh, a lot of sense. It's a good invade. We got the kill, and then here, like, I think you can easily kill Mundo. So, I know I know Mundo has flash. You know Mundo has flash. You have no flash. So, I think waiting mm -hmm. here, your, your Lothia pass is correct. But, I mean, I think you should have gone a lot earlier. And here, if you kill him one for one, it's not even that good because he has TP. So, I think... yeah. In the end, this play is fine if you didn't kill Mundo. I think it's fine. Okay. Timo tries to hold the way for you, but it's too hard. So I think this was completely fine. Okay. Yeah, I may have... Uh, Wasted uh, a bit of time there as well. Yeah. But, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter because uh, you're going to path top anyways, which we do. And Mundo doesn't crash away fast enough. So you can actually still gank him because like, look at the wave state. So in general, yeah. you wouldn't gank top lane here because they're sitting on a lot of gold. But since the mm -hmm. Mundo has you know no flash... He has to crash this wave. You're seeing it up with your Teemo. This is the most important part. You're not waiting for the brush for your Teemo to come back top side. There's no TP, right? You're doing your Krugs, yep. making sure that like you have another option of maybe I gank this or I recall. There's only two options, recall or gank, right? Yep. So doing Krugs beforehand is the correct call because you still sync up with your Teemo to see if there's a gank. This guy pushes the wave in. He's sitting on zero gold because he just spent most of it, right? He has like 500. Yep. He's going to try to uh, poke the Teemo here when he has no flash, which is again why we did this path instead of resetting. Because now if Olivia is smart, she goes into your jungle, which she doesn't. And now this guy is back on the map with no uh, no health, no TP. We push in top two waves and get a lot off of this. And it's got you very ahead. I think we see. Yeah, I, I also wouldn't have uh, pushed this wave um, with the Teemo. Because yeah, uh, the way I see it is he has like a lot of XP under his tower there. Um, and then he should be able to just push it himself. Next but wave I that comes in, he'll be 10% HP and he'll be back in lane. So yeah, you okay. have to push. I know, like, it's a really fat wave, but, mm -hmm. I mean, you don't have a choice. Either you let him, like, last hit every creep, and then you come afterwards, but there's no time for that. Just take everything. Okay. Here we gank mid. Um, I mean, the gank was pretty good. Navia trolls this. 
unfortunately. Yeah. But mm -hmm. we stay. Our mid is 1 HP, again, same concept. We're helping our laner get out of lanes for free. We're here, enemy jungle mm -hmm. just farming, doing nothing. We're getting XP and getting our laners, you know, uh, bailouts, which is really important. Okay. The problem here is, you're gonna see like the thing I talk about later, you're, you're not looking at the lanes or the waves. Where's the wave? Sorry, not not yet, but like. Okay. Um, Look at an Yeah, I. Uh huh. Where's the wave? Uh yeah, I I figured um like this isn't freezable, so I would be fine to leave. Really? It was um, crash. It was freezable. But it was um. Just TP. Does it not have to be full like three full minions? I think it, I think they're like slightly damaged. I don't know if that makes sense. It doesn't matter. It's near closer to the tower. I mean, it's like. Like, yes, Orion is the wave, but, like, it doesn't... The amount of minions doesn't matter. Like, this is going to be a, a freeze on Nivea. She's 1 HP, no flash. Like, no TP. Okay. Like, yeah, because I, I thought for some reason it had to be three full minions. I mean, the concept um, is you would be here to push the next wave instantly and crash it. Okay. That's all that matters. Like, you can just literally press E and walk here and just pull the wave. It doesn't matter how many there is. Like, there's no correlation. The thing is, like, you're not paying attention to where the wave is. Um, during this fight, so like when this, if if Lilia wasn't here, you just hard push the wave in because like he has no mana, he has no TP, has nothing. Okay, yeah, no, yeah, I I get that. And then we kill this, barely. Go back in. We have our gold spent. Why do we win this? Um, we had uh more items. Yeah, we have our gold spent. Look at the both mid laners. They haven't reset in seven minutes. Okay. She has 2,000 gold. You're infinitely stronger. You have four kills basically spent that she doesn't. Recurve, longsword, 1350, four kills and a half. This is why you win this. Even though she's no mana and you're like lower HP than her, 400 mm -hmm. HP, 300 HP, you're half her HP. You're, I mean, you have Conquer and everything. You have your Conquer stack, whatever, but you get the point, right? Why you win this? Yep, yep. I'm advantage. I see that. You need to press tab a lot more and be aware of that because I don't think you knew she had no items. Uh, okay. Yeah, no. I was not aware of that. Okay, so we go to seven minutes. So this is why I tell you to do uh, Dragon here. Again, you didn't pander counter towards bot. The moment this fight's over, you should look at the map, right? <coughs> Jungler dead, mid dead. They're mid house TP. Lower elo, they won't defend Dragon, doesn't matter. So unless you think getting a kill top here is worth more than getting the Dragon, then mm -hmm. you can go top here for like the Crab and whatever. But since your bot has Pryo, counter towards bot, look what's happening. You can definitely sneak a Dragon here. Massive wave, right? And they're pretty low. Uh, they're not low, but they're like, they're damaged. So getting the dragon yeah. here is a lot better because you sync your blue buff with your dragon. So once you've cleared these camps, you can play for the top. So this is what we did the entire game on second or several uh, rotations. We clear uh -huh. blue side camps with dragon, reset, clear top side camps with with a rift and vice versa. Because yeah, dragon that's something and blue I learned from same, uh, uh, a video of yours. Yeah, same timers, right? So very important to do this. Now, um, if we go back to that drag play um, or just think, think about it, um, for me, it's uh, Oriana is TPing uh, at a base, and their bot lane's stronger, and Samira and Leona have like a lot of wave clear, so they can just insta-clear this, and then uh, Oriana has prio mid, and then uh, there's a chance we lose this. Is that like just incorrect thinking? Is Oriana flash seven times the dragon and see it be killed in front of her, or what, what do you mean? How is that? Like, I, I figure the, uh, the Oriana would uh, maybe assume that I'm on it if my bot lane leaves, right? Uh, then she walks the dragon and misses the entire wave because the wave crashed through her tower and misses the entire cannon wave. Yeah, if she wants to lose the game over it, I guess, you can just give him the dragon then. Okay, okay. That's never gonna happen. Like, you realize she has no boots. She has 325 MS. She can't teleport a dragon. I said Lily is on red here, which she is because, you know, same time as your blue buff spawning. Uh -huh. But, like, if she's human, she should probably drop a ward or hit the scryer. These are low elo players. You're th overthinking it. Low elo. Okay. Just, they're not gonna leave their fucking wave under the tower to come the dragon. <laughs> Like they don't do this in challenger okay. games. They don't do this in diamond games either. Like, it's okay. just they, she has to push this wave. Then she come to dragon, right? They have to catch this wave. Mm -hmm. Then they have to ca come to dragon. They can't just go to dragon and miss the entire wave. They won't do that, especially in this low elo. Like, in higher elo, this is probably even a more guaranteed dragon. Lilia has okay. to. Okay. Lilia has to do everything here. Lilia has to just bask over the wall. But your champ is it so fast, and your bot lane has tempo, and your mid laner has to catch the wave. So like. Your thinking makes sense, but it's the wrong timer. Like, there's a 20 second, 10, 15 second window before they can actually come to Dragon and check it. Only Lily can track it solo. So, okay. I understand what you're, where you're coming from. Uh, this is a good fight where you bait abilities. I think you go a bit er too early. So, let's pause here. Okay. 
We do our red. We have most of our gold spell. We have no Bork, though, which is unlucky because it's like pretty very strong item at this point. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm not really sure why you walked out of the like the uh, the fog area because in, in case she's in river because the new crab was up. Remember we skipped crab to the dragon. There's a chance Lilia's top side with her blue buff and crab sink, right? Uh, yeah, I think you said Lilia uh, might be on the crab, so I wanted to like check to see if she was. Then why are you using your stun on the the rift then? If you want to check, okay. Okay, that, that, should be your, that should be your mindset. If this is your more, it's your most important ability. It gets your entire kit together, right? You can get your autos and cues off if you hit your stun. But mm -hmm. for that to be the case, and you shouldn't be stunning the uh, the rift herald. There's so seven here down. you would um you take it into the back of the pit with the pink ward, so Lily couldn't see it and just yeah, try just to drop your pink ward here and just do it here, and then make sure if she's in river or whatever, she can't see you because you're in other side of the map. Now you're gonna hit waste your E, and they're gonna be here first because top has prio. So, either way, I mean, you made the best of that situation, wasted two of their ults. That was a pretty good wall by Nivea as well, helped a lot. Now they're tanking it. So, this fight ends up being, being pretty good, you get a lot of your damage off, and then your team just cleans up. So, the flash is very key, but obviously this could have never happened, you just played Fog. Maybe she doesn't check the Rift, whatever, right? So, even then, you'd have your W up and chunk her for free, because look at your items. You had, like, so much more gold on her. How much mm -hmm. gold did you have here? So you have 3,400 gold spent, she has 2.2k. So you okay. have basically 5 kills on her in this fight. This is why like, I tell people to fight out of base. Don't farm camps, you're fresh level 7, you have all of your gold spent, don't farm camps. Look for a play, then farm your camps, right? Or farm their camps, you don't have to farm your camps. That's okay. You want to grab the red, be as strong as possible, get your regen, get your true, true damage, get your slows, whatever, right? So that's how I look at it. And then we just wipe them 3 for 1, and then guess what? After that fight, you're one step closer to level 8. Even though you didn't farm a single camp, right? You got so much gold and XP from the fight. Just do one yep. camp and go again. What are your items? You have Bork now. You're even more strong. You don't have Flash, you don't have R or whatever, but you have top prio now. So, okay. quite important. Okay, and then here I tell you to gank top because, again, why go bot? You don't have to. This is a good Flash. Mundo. So, Timo came to help you with the Rift Herald. So, now Mundo has top prio. So, you just do your Krugs. Does he stay under tower? Yes, so he's a free kill. Uh, no reason uh -huh. to reset. Is your bot getting dove? It's a slow push, sure, but like you don't really care. You can get so much more top lane. You kill the Mundo, you get his tower, you drop the Rift, etc. You want to make him play before 14 minutes? Top lane was the right play of this game. That's why I tell you to go top all game. This guy dies every time. Okay. Lilia did defend the top, which was good by her. I'm actually surprised she was still top, so I guess she went to her Gromp. That's what she did. Yeah, she didn't go bot. The issue with this Lilia player is he played way too defense. He should be diving your bot off cooldown because his bot lane is winning pretty hard. Like, look at the Samira's items, look at his gold. She yep. should have, her mistake is like kind of opposite of yours. She's playing like the weak side of the map instead of the strong side of the map. You play the strong side, that's why you win this game. If you kept going bot and Olivia matched you bot lane, it'd be 3v3s and you just lose this game. But yep. since you got a massive lead top from killing Mundo, from getting the plates, from getting the rift, etc., you got so much gold this game that allows you to neutralize the, the enemy bot lane lead. And Sona's just gonna outscale Leon anyways. So as long as your bot's on 0-20, this game is 100% win at this point. We have a first dragon, etc. So this is why it's really important to play to your strong side as a carry jungler. If you're yeah, playing the I'd weaker, say that's my uh, strongest uh, suit as a player is like knowing what side to play for. That's good. Uh, so here is where your I think your Ezreal dies after this dragon. So here, like I don't know why you're chasing this. If you have Merc Shreds, sure, because she has no boots. Again, we didn't press tap to know that or left clicker. We should always do that to see your items. Mm -hmm. But if you have Merc Shreds, sure, she's 100% <coughs> dead. She had no flash, but it's fine. No reason to chase here at all. You can maybe like go here, drop a pink cord, maybe hit the scryer or the blast cone, whichever is up. So you can make this dragon more guaranteed. But since we have Bork, you do it so fast anyways. And there's no no need to pull that dragon out of the pit. Because sometimes, uh, or like, I would almost always do it. I mean, it depends on the game state, right? They're, they're killing your bot lane. Like, it's already okay. dead. Look at the bot. Look at, you have mid prio and your Ezra's bot prio. Why pull the dragon? Her only way in is the blast cone over. There's no word here, but... It doesn't matter. Like, you just one-shot this anyways. You have Bork. That's their word. Blue word. So I'd only pull to run away, basically. Is Yes, if yeah. you can escape. If you're not, if you're like, if it's a high-risk, high-reward dragon. This is not a high-risk, high-reward dragon. This guy's 1 HP. I mean, that's perma prio and Ezreal's push bot. But, like, Ezreal shouldn't be here. So, it's fine. Okay. And then here, like, you're on a timer to grab your blue. Because if they want to get invade your blue here, because their bot's pretty fed, right? So you need to not wait for the Lydia. Just randomly just take your camps ASAP and defend bot. I wish you do that. They okay. get no plates. So that's good. And 
we take our top side. Mundo is going to do the exact same play, try to crash top. We have Bork, we have Sheen, we really one shot him. Dies again. And then we buy more components. Go bot. And like, look at this. Like, you see, like, all these free kills stop we got. Our bot lane is never in a position to die. If our bot was in a position to die here, like on a slow push, we'd reset after Krugs or not even take the Krugs, right? Look at the bot waste, dude. You have time yeah. to make this game top. Right? Okay. This is why we're doing this. Else we'd be defending bot, because this is a Sona getting Sona to like mid late game is very important. And your bot lane actually started winning at this point. So like there's no reason to ever play offensively bot and play into their cards. Samira is like an item and a half. She's pretty strong. She's up a thousand gold. She didn't spend all of her gold, but she's still stronger than Ezreal, right? So Okay, so fallout three v three, you'd probably lose to their bot lane. So in this position, if um or like the position before, if um the Mundo is killable, but the bot lane was defendable, I'd rather recall and defend bot. Yes. Like if I needed to. Okay. Yes, because Mundo's already like he's so behind Timo and you got so much gold on him, you'd probably kill him a lot easier this game. Okay. Okay. And here uh I think our mid gets Prio. We don't I have to make this play. I think it's uh this is what we see, right? You can blast cone over and drop a ward and then see if that vision of you. I don't even think she'd be leeching this XP. Kind of overkill. Okay. But here, like, this should be, like, you know, they have to go defend mid, right? So you can look for someone to transition, and then we see Lilia. You can level up your R so you can one shot her. You can definitely kill her and got her out instantly. Yeah, I, I just play this like shit. Yeah, it's fine. So, I mean, this is still good. One for one is huge because look at what's happening mid and top. Top's getting shit on, mid's getting shit yeah. on, Teemo got the top tower. Like, the lead you created top lane is playing into its cards, right? Mid and top <laughs> can't play, and you're still getting kill bot side, which is really important. But okay, so it's fine to take a fight down in numbers. Uh, I mean, obviously, it. every game is different. Um, as if we're like pushing a lane somewhere else that they need to defend. As long as you get one for one on like losing side, it's good. If unless you're killing the support, okay. then it's not as good. You want to kill one of their carries, uh, jungle ADC or mid or whatever. Mm -hmm. So, okay, that makes a ton of sense actually. Yeah. Right, because if you, if you kill their support, their, their teammates are like you're gonna be dead for thirty seconds. They're gonna be farming your camps, their camps, pushing towers, getting plates, etc. Right, so. Mm -hmm. Other than that, I mean, you can read the rest of these. Oh, I think I went over pretty much everything that was really important. But yep. there are two most important things you have to work on your camera management and then your pressing tab. I, you press tab twice this game, I'm pretty sure. Like early camera management uh, isn't yeah, bad, but you need to look at the map a lot more, see what's happening. Wave states, symmetrical game, right? If the wave is here, the wave is here. So, is there the any um, like Q uh, to hit tab, or is it just like I just need to be looking all the time? If you send in the jungler top that doesn't show in the entire game, press tab or left clicker and see her CS score. Like, like there's so, like every single, every five seconds you press tab, honestly. Okay. Or every time a champ comes out of fog, like from base, and we can see their items, that's a nice t t time to press tab. You can press tab to see CS score, four CS per camp, four CS per crab, etc. So, I mean, in general, okay. like before team fights is also pretty key. Do they have a Zonyas? Do they have a GA? We can see the GA animation, can't see the Zonyas, so. Things like that, pretty important to get into account. Uh, I mean, checking laners, like CS score is important, seeing if they're winning or losing. If they have higher CS, they probably have the perma push. If they don't, then they're probably missing every CS. So things like that are pretty important. Okay. But, but just in general, tab is like the mo tab and camera, the two most important things you should work on. Here we see this guy in this game, just, yeah. Yeah. We got every dragon, we got every rift. We played our wooden con, our bot went outscaled, and mid top jungle pretty much carried the game, so. Okay. Just go over yeah, that. Yeah, no, definitely learned a decent amount there for sure. Your third item would have been Wits this game for sure, then probably like a Fawn or a Spirit Visage. I don't know what's better on Viego. Yeah, I um, I see a lot of people going Kraken first item instead of Bork. Um, is that just when I, I'm not going to be on the front line or they don't really have a front line? Or when would I go uh, Kraken over Bork? Oh, I'm not the biggest fan of like full lethality or full like... DPS, Viego. I know some people go like Lethality, some people go Kraken. I don't like it. I think Fork Divine's the best. Like, just I, I just think you guys so well together. I feel like you yeah. get HP, you get AD, you get attack speed, you get a slow, you get lifesteal, you get everything you need, and you get yeah. Uh, so I gun. could like Fork Divine every game, and that's not gonna hold me back. Uh, if they're full squishy, I don't know what you build, to be honest. I don't know. I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> if they were like not tank top, not tank support this game, I actually have no idea. Okay. That's, but in general, you'll see at least one tank, so I think going Bork Divine is like quite optimal. Okay. But yeah, let me know yeah. how things go. We'll keep in touch. And uh... Yeah, I was wondering, um, not to ask you to bark like a dog for me, but I was wondering if you could um, uh, just 
say like uh my friend jay has cancer like if you could diagnose him or if that's not sure. cool jay i think you have cancer congratulations Good okay thank you yeah yeah my bad my bad i appreciate it though it's all good all right best of luck dm me for anything and uh, we'll keep in touch okay yeah have a good christmas all right see you too. take care bye